God used this video and what is happening to Howard University as a reason to say PWIs are better or this, that, and the other. Like I said, I have had the best. I have learned so much about myself, my people, and black intellectuals in general at this university in the one in the one semester and a half, almost two, <laughs> that I've been here. I have learned so much about myself. I have been inspired every day to be pushed to the best of my abilities. I have networked with people. I have been given numerous opportunities at this university. So, like I said, do not use this as a way to bash Howard because the amount of excellence and the alumni that have come from this university and the students that keep this university going on and on and on is incredible. It's really a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing and it's the definition of black excellence. It's the reason we are called the Mecca because the students have been fighting for things like this, have been fighting institutional ideas just like this for generations. And they take that and go into the real world and keep fighting and continue showcasing their black excellence. So with all that being said, do not use this as an excuse to bash Howard. Do not use this as an excuse to do the HBCU versus other HBCU. It's not, it's not an HBCU versus PWI. It's not an HBCU versus another HBCU. These are student issues and we need to start holding, holding adults accountable for what they are doing to us. This is our education, this is our money, and we should be able to, we should be rewarded with our basic needs, with the right education, with the right, we should be treated right. They're, the administration should care about their students, like this is just basic information, like this is basic rights. <laughs> this is basic rights and we are being denied that. So yes, when people get angry because they don't have housing, people get angry when they aren't awarded financial aid, people get angry when the administration is just brushing us off. And people don't start caring until you're disrespectful, until you start speaking out about things. Videos, H222, um, you're kind of like sitting at home watching these videos, um, hearing all this stuff about Howard. And what I'm going to say to y'all, do not come to Howard if you are not used to fighting. Do not come to Howard if you had it all made for you in high school. For me personally, my high school was hell. I went to school with white people. I went to school where I was fighting for my, for basic things. I was fighting for the black students at that school. I was very vocal and it made me who I am today. So the reason why I can stay at this university is because I'm used to having to fight. I don't give up. So I'm used to things not going being perfect. I'm used to not being in the perfect institution. So that's why I, I personally have the backbone to stay here. If you do not have that backbone, do not come to this university. HBCUs, yes, this is, it's a fact. We are disorganized. But there's a difference between sitting in that disorganization and there's, or fighting for it, or fighting against it. And you should fight for your basic rights. You should fight for what you deserve. So, HU22, if you are considering Howard and you are watching our university come crushing the shambles. Um, I just want, really want you to think about, think about can you handle it? Can you handle being here? Can you handle struggling? Can you handle going through the administration? Can you handle this environment? Are you mentally going to be okay? Because there are things that have happened here that have psychologically messed me up. But I have been psychologically messed up in the past as well. But I have been in situations that have messed with my head, that have affected my learning, that have affected my mental health. So, keep that in mind. It's not, it's not easy going through Howard. It really isn't. So I just want all of y'all to take that into consideration while you're deciding on what university you want to stay at for the next four, four plus years. Or just for undergrad, whatever you decide. So yeah, just keep that in mind, and I'm feel free feel free to um, hit me up on any of my social medias, my Instagram, Twitter, um, Snapchat. Comment below, I will respond. Yeah, <laughs> all that. Um, but yeah, just kind of wanted to check in with y'all, let y'all know what's happening. Yeah. But yeah, so make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah.
Peace out. It's been your girl. She's priceless. I love you all. Mwah. 18 year olds, 19 year olds, 20 year olds, homeless? Mm. Homeless? Yeah. We're 20 years old. Like, we're, we're focused on, we're trying to focus on midterms right now. While I'm trying to focus on midterms, I'm trying to register for housing at the same time. I'm saying on this website, like, is a, is a dorm going to open up? While, while I'm trying to study. That's not fair to me. That is not fair to me. Because what I'm trying to understand, what I'm trying to make y'all understand is that when y'all do us like this, we, we try to figure out what is the point. You have a whole bunch of kids wondering what is the point of this. And it's like, if not here, where are we going to go? Because the way y'all do our credits, like, where are y'all, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? 19 years old, going to be homeless, making jokes with my friends because we're trying to lighten the mood that we're going to be homeless next year? That's not funny, bro. It's not funny, bro. I'm 19, bro. It's not okay. It is not okay, and we deserve better. And I'm going to be... But in, my, in my class, age of 20, many kids came to school with the impression that they had housing, only to pull up to be told that they didn't have housing. Yeah. 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 And age of 20 only has 900 kids in it. Age of 21 has 2,300. And they're going to do the to the next class. Exactly. And the next class has over 2,000 kids in it too. And there's so empty rooms in South. And there's still people on the wait list. And they're yeah. closed the quad for a year. They could have did the shit last time. Why would you do this shit right here? My, my, my big question to Howard is, is I've wanted exactly the same thing for the past three years. And I'm not even going to lie. Y'all are going to be mad at me. I'm going to be mad at you. Y'all are going to be mad at me. I'm going to be mad at you. And y'all are going to be mad at me. I'm going to be mad at you. And y'all are going to be mad at me. I'm going to be mad at you. And y'all are going to be mad at me. I'm going to be mad at you. And y'all are going to be mad at me.
say now that we're here, hey, one mic, one mic, one mic. Come on over, come on over, come on over, come on over. Come on over. Come on. We got people like y'all can come closer. All right, so now that we're here, I think we all need to be in agreement that we're going to be here for a while. All right? We're going to be here for a while. Don't worry about food, we got you covered. Okay? Don't worry. I got some peanut butter in my bag. I can see it. Yeah, I got a load. Yeah, we got some water. We got people with things. Yeah. Oh, hello. You need all of me? All right. She didn't know what was happening. All that oh. good stuff. But it's okay. That's friends like you least. I always got you. Please. I'm so good. 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 I
clothes. I shouldn't have to deal with this shit. I came to Howard because I thought this was a place where I would be cared about. I thought that the HBCUs, when it's black people running shit and it's black people teaching me shit, they was gonna care about me, care about my education and the betterment of me and the other black kids here. But they don't give a fuck about us. So why am I here and why am I paying for people to not give a fuck about us? Mm. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, could I have just went to a fucking PWI? Mm. But like, and mm. I didn't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to be miserable. I want to be around beautiful black people and let's support each other. But I don't see that shit happening mm. at all. Because honestly, Howard is a fucking, no offense, cool school. We are private yeah, institutions. Yeah. We do yeah. 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 But we get it money from the government, though. So we over here fucking top dancing, fucking James call me. Okay. That bitch on wall. Is, you said you've been here since 2011. You said the same thing. 
same thing has been recurring every time. No, I wouldn't say the same thing. But, but, but you're saying things have always been going on. So if there's always been a problem and we've always been, we need to change, we need to change, and nobody's been saying nothing, what can y'all now change? So, can, 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 wait, before, before go, go, you say go. something, I just want to say something really big. I don't think that nobody's saying anything or nobody's hearing your concerns. It's just, once again, like everything is a process. But I, I'll, like, I'll speak a little bit more to that after he talks. So, yeah. I, I definitely wouldn't say like, because I definitely want to say like things haven't changed, right? I'm not so, saying it hasn't changed. Yeah, but I, it, I think there's always like when you're dealing with an institution like Howard or any u university in general, I think you're gonna see certain things, right? To name a few, one, there's always gonna be issues that people are gonna have. There's always gonna be uh, a push pull thing, like we want this to happen, but it's 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 more so taking a long view on things. Are we stagnant or are we moving, right? Yeah. And I think we've been moving. So when I was when I first got to Howard. I lived in the towers. Um, no, no alumni didn't donate at all. Houston had to step in with Houston Houston grants, which is something that, that that we did. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was a shit show in a lot of ways. What was going on? I personally did not trust the board when I was director of student advocacy. I just didn't. It was fucked shady. Oh, I'm sorry. But they oh. have been moving. It's true. We've been going. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Can I ask We're calling for their resignation. Like, if you don't understand that, we're calling for them to go. Like, how do they feel about the board of trustees? But at the same time, like, how do they feel about the board going? Like, they have that perspective. Should the board actually go? Okay.